It's um, lovely to be with you this evening. Um, I'm Nicola. I'm not Rachel. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, for those of you who maybe missed last Tuesday, you'll be tuning in to see Rachel as usual. Um, but Rachel has now uh, started her maternity leave um, and we are exuberantly excited <laughs> to meet baby Burns when he or she arrives a um, couple of weeks yet. Uh, so Rachel, um, have a rest <laughs> and uh, thank you so much for the year or so that you've led us through. Um, and um, so to introduce myself in case you've not come across me before, I'm Nicola Bruce and I'm a parish worker at Ellen Parish Church. Um, and I've been involved with the music over lockdown. Usually at church, I'm through with our boys and the other Twinkle Star Star Squad Illuminate. Um, so I don't really get a chance to be a part of this side of things. So it's been lovely to be a part of that and to sing with Rachel and with the choir and the band and whatnot over this time. And they've entrusted this time to me. <laughs> so if I can just say, um, lower your standards and we'll all be fine. <laughs> um, thankfully, our God is, uh, is just interested in our hearts coming to him. And um, we'll just have grace for each other and it'll be okay. <laughs> um, I've been thinking a bit about um, a question that we ask at our hot seats in Holiday Club. We always ask, what are your three favourite things about God? And I thought over uh, the next few weeks, um, I could share with you a little bit of mine. There's an awful lot of favourite things, <laughs> but uh, one of them that I've been thinking about this week is um, one of my favourite words, which is tabernacle. Um, I kind of feel like that should almost be a something you say when something bad happens. Oh, tabernacle! Um, but... Uh, the tabernacle when the Israelites were wandering in the desert after they had escaped from Egypt and they were tent people camping and uh, Moses rigged up a tent of meeting, their sort of temple and then God gave them really specific instructions of how to build this tent and within it there was to be this tabernacle and it was going to be the place where God's glory would dwell God making his home amongst them. It really means dwelling. Um, and I, I love that God does that, that he's not a far away God, that he is this God of all creation, but that he's also with us. Um, and then from there, we then see in Jesus, God coming to be with us. Um, and then we see it again with Pentecost, the Holy Spirit coming to be with us. And then in Revelation, heaven and earth becoming one, really. God making, it talks about God making his dwelling among us. But I love that it's not just something to look forward to or to look back at, but something that is with us today. So I just want to read a little bit from Exodus. And it's... Um, chapter 33 verse 12 Moses said to the Lord you have been telling me lead these people but you will not let me know whom you will send with me you have said I know you by name and you have found favor with me if you are pleased with me teach me your ways so I may know you and continue to find favor with you remember that this nation is your people the Lord replied my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. If we skip forward, there's a lot of um, building happens <laughs> of uh, tent varieties. And then in chapter 40, at verse 34, then the cloud, which was the sign of God being present with them at that time, the cloud covered the tent of meeting and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle Moses could not enter 
and the tent of meeting because the cloud had settled upon it and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. In all the travels of the Israelites, whenever the cloud lifted from above the tabernacle, they would set out. But if the cloud did not lift, they did not set out until the day it lifted. So the cloud of the Lord was over the tabernacle by day and fire was in the cloud by night in the sight of all the house of Israel during all their travels. I just love that all of them, the whole tribe could see at all times, they could see this cloud. Even in the dark, they could see this fire of God being with them in such an uncertain time. So this is one of the things I love about God. Let's pray and then I've chosen three songs uh, to journey with together on this kind of idea. Father God, thank you for the opportunity to come together in this way. Thank you that we can praise you at all times, that you are with us, that you dwell with us in the joys, in the day when maybe it's easier to praise and in the darkness, in the uncertainty, in our anxiety and in our fear, that there you are still there and making yourself even more known to us. So Father, tabernacle with us tonight. Be with us. Draw near as we draw near to you in worship. Oh, mm-hmm. 
to 
for sticking with it <laughs> and I hope this has been a blessing to you tonight and that the rest of your evening or daytime um, know that God is with you we've got our usual stuff on the rest of the week um, Bible Ponder on Wednesday, Star Squad Wednesday in person service on Thursday Carbo Cafe and Bedtime Stories on Friday 
um, and back to Sunday. So hopefully I'll come across some of you in the week to come. And I'll see you next week. Bye.